I got to talk. I got to mm. tell what I feel. I got to talk about my life as I see it. Biggie. Uh. Uh-huh. Uh. Hey, guys. Welcome back. So I wanted to answer another question that I had. That question was, what programming language should I learn first? So that's kind of a loaded question. There's a lot of different programming languages out there that are available. Now, if you look at some sites like um, Stack Overflow, they'll do research polls every year on what the most popular web languages are, and they'll post those up. So you can take a look at that. I'm sure you can Google it and find it, but there's always some big runners kind of up at the top that you'll see. So I am very knowledgeable in the web development space, but there's all kinds of stuff available. You, think about it. Like when you go to Redbox to get a DVD, did you know Redbox is running a slimmed down version of Windows on it? And somebody had to program that to work for Redbox. Uh, you've got everything from refrigerators and stove and toaster uh, to your car. Somebody had to write the code that runs the computer in your car that runs everything, right? Takes in the inputs from all of the sensors and outputs the right things for the engine every second, probably millisecond of every second uh, to make your car run the right way. Um, so tons of different programming jobs that are available. The internet, internet of things is a big, big thing. Um, that's the connectedness of stuff. You have your Nest thermostat, um, that maybe can talk to your Philip Hughes light bulbs that you can control with your iPhone using Bluetooth and which can connect to your ring uh, video camera doorknob uh, or doorbell deal. So everything being connected. So all of that requires some level of programming to get done. Virtual reality is becoming a big thing as well. You know, VR, everybody's got you know, VR headsets going on now, Samsung with their thing, uh, tons of programming opportunities there as well with aug augmented reality. Um, web is always going to be huge, man. The, the, the internet is humongous. Most apps nowadays come out as web apps before they come out as desktop applications. Uh, you remember, if you remember back in the day, you used to get, have to go to the store and buy a CD if you a CD ROM if you wanted to buy a program and you came home and you loaded that CD ROM in your computer and it spun up and you had to go through the installation thing for it to install the software from the CD to your computer none of that stuff is going on today well in very little of those things are going on today even games I used to have to go to the store to buy PC games when I was a PC gamer now you got Steam and you just log on and you download your games and play them. Um, so there's tons of opportunity out there for web developers. And that's kind of what I specialize in, making web applications work on the web. Um, so that's a huge, huge, huge field as well. If you want to get into that field, uh, you need to know, well, it depends on if you want to do front end or back end. I do a lot of front end stuff with some back end stuff using Node or, or PHP as well. Um, all the front end stuff is going to be in JavaScript. If you learn JavaScript, if you want to be a web developer, learn JavaScript. Uh, you got to know HTML and CSS, of course. Uh, that never hurts you. But you can get a lot done if you know JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Those three will get you work all day long right now JavaScript when I say JavaScript I mean like core foundational JavaScript because once you learn core foundational JavaScript you can learn all these frameworks that's flying around you'll hear angular react ember Vue.js, all this stuff on the front end that's flying around doesn't matter if you know the foundational concepts of JavaScript itself you can adapt those to any of these frameworks because all the frameworks are written in JavaScript. So they just take JavaScript, make a lot of functions and codes to make things easier for you and say, here's the framework Angular. Here's the framework React. Here's the framework Ember or Backbone or Knockout or any of those old ones as well. So learn those three, you can get pretty far. 
pick up a backend language as well. The reason I say um, if you learn JavaScript, because Node.js is a server-side language that's written in JavaScript. So if you know JavaScript, you can do front-end stuff with JavaScript, and you can go to the backend and do uh, work on the backend using Node.js, connecting up to databases and messaging queues and all kinds of stuff with that as well. So that's why I say if you want to do web stuff, get really solid in JavaScript, and you can always get work. Backend stuff on the web, it's going to be, uh, if you want to work big enterprise, then you want something like Java on the back end, or you want C Sharp on the back end. Um, Python starting to become popular on the back end as well, uh, definitely. If you want to do startup y stuff and go work for a startup, learn Ruby on Rails. Rails is a big framework written for Ruby uh, that's pretty popular in the startup world to get things done, as well as Node. Um, so you kind of can't go wrong with those things if you want to be a web developer. So that's big. Um, a lot of programming languages you'll hear out there as you're learning are derived from C. Um, C is kind of the grandfather language that a lot of other languages took syntax or concepts from and built off of. Uh, for iOS, you have Objective-C, um, which built off of C as well. Objective-C has been around since like 1983 or something like that, when I was just a young pup. And a lot of you probably weren't even born um, but that's switching over to Swift. If you want to do phone development, iPhone is going to be, uh, Swift is the new language for iPhone. Uh, the old language for iPhone is Objective-C. There's a lot of iPhone code that's written out there in Objective-C. Um, so if you want to be maintaining, get work maintaining those, uh, all those applications that are written in Objective-C, I think you can, uh, find a lot of work for that as well mobile developers uh, usually get paid towards the higher end as well. Uh, just a FYI there, just so you know. Um, if you want to do Android, Android is written in, in Java. Uh, so learn Java. Java can get you enterprise backend work, uh, but it can also get you uh, Android phone work. So all those, uh, you know, Samsung's, HTC's, etc. that run Android, that's all in Java. If you want to do Google stuff, you need to learn Go. Google wrote their own language called Go, G-O, uh, which is a pretty cool, pretty slick language. I have a buddy that's really into Go, and he just loves it, man. He digs it. He writes PHP uh, every day for, for work, but all of his side projects he writes in Go because he loves the language that much. So um, those are just some quick tidbits. I don't want to make this video long. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you'll get a notification when I post a new video. I look forward to hearing from y'all, man. The The whole reason I'm doing these videos is uh, not for YouTube fame or, or money or anything like that. Um, I don't need it. I really like to help people. So um, I didn't have a ton of help or people that I could reach out to at all when I was learning. So I did it all on my own, man. I was like a little one-man show. Uh, I wouldn't even tell people that I was uh, learning programming because I thought they'd laugh at me or, man, why are you doing that and all this stuff? Or didn't you just go to school for audio production? What are you doing talking about programming and all this stuff? But my whole story, you know, you can watch that first video I posted up to learn more about my story. But I did. I went to school for audio production, uh, got to the very last class and found out that the... Uh, only starter jobs they could get me was paying 12 bucks an hour when I was already making 16 bucks an hour working at uh, the casino that uh, not the casino the hotel that I was working at you know doing concierge stuff and front desk stuff so I had to do a, a 180 find something else to do I had kids and an old lady and and uh, you know miles to feed so I couldn't play around so I went all in for uh, programming and, and computer stuff man because I know that's because I know that's the wave of the future. Uh, I will always be able to get work in that area for many, 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 many years. Um, and I wanted to get in on it while there's a shortage on developers and we get paid very well for what we do. So, uh, so I love it. So many people don't want to do it, but when there's a, a, 
there's a lack of supply of developers that drives up the rate for developers. So that's why software developers get paid very well for what they do. So jump in, man. It's it's not an easy road. Uh, it's going to be difficulties along the way, but you can do it. Like I said in, in, in uh, the Treehouse video, you don't have to be some young kid. And you hear people all the time, oh, I've been programming since I was five years old. That wasn't my story. Uh, so, like I said, I was in my mid-30s before I learned to code. So, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Y'all holler at me. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.